that time of year again. And here's my question for you. Are you exchanging gifts or are you merely exchanging obligations? I don't know how many of you have given it thought, but frequently we end up writing lists during our year and all we do is fulfill a set of obligations. Do you know that gift giving has everything to do with honoring the other person? And gifts are to be given voluntarily, straight from the heart, just because we enjoy and appreciate others. Obligations, on the other hand, have everything to do with duty, ritual, and debt. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't really want to be one of those people getting indebted by other people that feel like they need to give me something. I want to give you today a couple of ideas of what you can do about gifts, and I'm going to use myself as an example. When I had my 50th birthday, there, were no, there was no party. I really didn't give it any thought, but I had two gifts that year. This is one of them. Now, for those of you who've never seen one of these, this is an antique cigar box. It is absolutely exquisite. A friend of mine, for some reason, decided she wanted to mark the occasion with this went out specifically to find one. It's a one of a kind, and I cannot tell you just how many wonderful places and eclectic places this has gone. Secondly, when my same birthday rolled around, I had another friend who unknowingly was looking for something for me, couldn't find anything that had my name on it, and one day told me she had a dream, couldn't find what she uh, had imagined in her dream about this birthday gift, so she ended up drawing it for me and it was a vase filled with light. And I thought to her, how awesome is that? There's not one out there on the marketplace and I'll never break it. And I could carry it with me everywhere I go. Well, let me give you the third example of a gift of love. And it came this morning. Some of you may know I have a beautiful and funny 90 year old aunt named Aunt Helen. And the Christmas season was rolling around. I thought, well, she expects nothing from me. Is there anything, though, that I can do because I do love her? And I'm thinking flowers, whatever. Well, lo and behold, this morning I thought, my goodness, I have a book that I will be releasing in February. And I hadn't even realized that I had memorialized Aunt Helen, her name, and her very inspiration in the introduction of that book. I took a draft of that and I put it in the mail today. Now, do you think she'll be a little bit surprised? I know it was my joy to give it to her because I love my aunt and my aunt is the embodiment of love. Now, as you go about the rest of this season, think anew, ask yourself when you're out shopping or doing whatever you're doing, am I looking to bestow gifts upon people I love or am I merely setting myself out for the next obligation? I would hope and wish every single one of you that the love that you have in your heart for other people will be spread abroad and that others who receive it will not feel the least bit indebted, but they will feel the love. So from my heart to yours, I wish you love this holiday season. This has been Maura with Maura for you. Enjoy. Bye-bye.